Hi guys, Fake Rist here, and today I'm bringing you Season 4, 11th hour for Battlefield 2042. I've unlocked the new specialist. Um, she's basically, she's an anti-recon recon. Um, she stops, she doesn't trigger motion-based gadgets, and she stops things from actively targeting and lock-ons and things like that. Um, I haven't locked any of the new guns, but I'm using, I'm going to be using the new skin um, for an old favorite, the uh, PP29, which I haven't used since its heyday where it was literally the meta. So um, we're going to play around with that. I have played a little bit of the new map. You're in for mostly close to medium engagements, at least the way I play. Um, you can stick to the longer stuff at the edges if you want, but I prefer that kind of short to medium. And uh, we're going to be checking out the new map. So whilst I don't have much of the new content, I wanted to showcase the specialists in the map for you guys today. So I'll rejoin you guys once we get into a match. Guys, so just loading up the server just now. So welcome to South Africa. This is the new map, obviously called Flashpoint. Um, really fun map, nice mix of infantry and vehicles um, so far. And one other thing I should say about this new season is there's a lot of quality of life improvements like this. So you can actually select the gear that you want to go in with before the match starts. And they've shortened these intros, which is great. So we're going to see if we can take a little jeep. Excellent. So now you've got an insertion window that runs down before the round starts which is kind of nice and then the intro cutscene super short now which is cool but maybe that's just this map but um, it's cool. quite a nice symmetrical or asymmetrical i guess layout as well um so we'll get into it i don't know how useful i'm going to be with the uh, new specialists but uh, we'll give her a go we'll see what happens so we deploy a little jammer here to stop uh, spotting happening as we move in what we can do. Oh, it's spicy. That's a spicy meatball. I do like this gun though. It's been a while since I've used it. I thought that was a person. It was a shadow. One other thing you'll probably notice is that there's a slight difference in the where the flags are. They're just above the mini-map now. And there's now symbols for above and below. If an enemy is above or below, which is cool. Um, so, a little bit of quality of life. This is the end of their sort of year of live service that they promised. And uh, I'll maybe do a video in the future where we go through everything and talk about how the live service was and how the sort of journey was for the game. The game does have some really redeeming features, which is cool. Um, and obviously I had a bad launch. I'm going to get out of here. Um, obviously I had a very bad launch, but it's improving. I still wish that 64 player was more of a regular mode. I think sometimes, as I'm demonstrating, 128 can be a bit much. That's a grenade. The only problem you do get, I'm just going to highlight the areas. Those three areas, one, two, three vehicles tend to camp there. Um, but if you're fighting through the tunnels and doing the infantry stuff, you can kind of avoid it a wee bit. Sometimes that vehicle spam can be a bit much. I need to get out of these tunnels. They're super disorientating. I know the SMG will do pretty well here, but let's get back up into the fight. And you will notice, of course, everyone is, a lot of people are playing as the new specialist, so there's loads of these signal jammers around. I'm going to put mine in the corner. Oops. And we've got full coverage. Of, uh, so it stops lock-ons, it stops things like um, proc sensors. There's loads of people above us. I'm actually going to leave the camp. Bad. Bad shooting. Ah, oh, Rangers. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Actually, I wonder if I get... Oh, I was being shot there. I was going to say, I wonder if... Vasco uh, doesn't get... Uh, targeted by them. Hello. At least I think that's her name. I mean... <laughs> I might be wrong about that. Blasco? I don't know. I'll have to double check that. Oh! It does seem to be more combined arms. Which is great. Because when you're working with a mix of vehicles and infantry, it means they can work together better and, you know, teammates joining up with me for this push. Let's see if we can get in there guy behind and above. See the little triangle above the name? 
Makes things much easier. You're not guessing where people are. Which I guess could be a, a cheese strategy. I don't know where that grenade just came from. I'm assuming up on the left. Okay, that's a tank. Angry tank. Shooting at me and not the uh, engineers. <laughs> If I had C4, it would go up there. I can't remember if Recon gets C4 anymore. Hello. I'm still losing this point. Why are we still losing this point? It must be on the other side. Oh, yeah, they're there. Classes get C4 now? Yeah, Assault. Alright. <laughs> I didn't realize that until now, that Assault Engineer and... Well, that's not good. Move around. I'm gonna come out this door. That's what I would have done. There's a lot of them in there. Oh, and there's a tank. I don't know what to do here. Half of them seem to have forgotten that I'm here. Which is great for me. Let's put the jammer down. There's a the tugs here. Oh, look. And I can just destroy it by touching it. That's great. They don't set it off as uh, cool, which is cool. That was kind of a weird engagement. Probably shouldn't have shot there. But, they, but there were so many infantry here, and they all just left. I don't understand. Also, melted that guy. So the PP29 is still strong. Which is great. Yeah, I'm not getting... I'm still not getting a cap circle. Oh, it's... Pre-fired him and he still beat me. Good work. That's probably my favourite SMG. Am I getting rest? There are other people here? Uh, there was. Lasko's quite good at getting into objectives. I wonder if I can jam a jammer. I don't think it works like that. Am I capping? It sounds like I'm capping from up here, actually. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not seeing the cap circle. I think they've added some minimap features, so that's maybe reset some things. I know my grenade, I've, I had the grenade bound to my mouse. Um, that was unbound, but that kind of happens with Battlefield updates, unfortunately. <laughs> Since 4, I remember Battlefield 4 when it reset all your sensitivities. It's a nightmare to try to find them again. Let's see if we can help them get up here. This guy's just hanging out. Snipers don't last long on this map because they think they're safe in these hills, but it's like a main route for infantry. Let's see if I can push. I don't like how exposed I am here. I'm not going to hit him with an SMG. That's a sniper. I was going to throw a smoke grenade then realize I have knives. The whole thing. He's going down injured. Is that... I might put the blocker here. I don't know how vertical this signal jammer goes. Oh, goodness. Well, let's see if we can get in there. We've got helicopter support, which is nice. And we've got a thousand jammers, which is also nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I wish I had an LMG. That would have been good. Wow, we wiped them. That was really cool. Wish we had the uh, helicopter's point of view there. That would have been amazing to see infantry coming in. My jammer here as well. Add to the... Look how many jammers are up. Yeah, for the foreseeable guys, don't deploy claymores or throw motion sensors. It's going to be real pointless. It's careful. Cap, 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 cap. Good. Okay, All right, where are we going next? D1. That's the underground. I don't think we're going to get to A. We'll try to push to D if we can. It feels like Battlefield again. Vehicles can actually... Uh, vehicles. Buildings, rather, can actually be blown up on this map. I don't know if this is a change. Again, I'll have to do some testing. I don't know if this is a universal change. But it looks great on this map with the level of destruction starting to feel... This does feel like a Battlefield 3 map, I think. 
slash four, I guess. I mean, I'll be interested to see what the Battlefield 4 inspired map looks like. That's supposed to be coming with season five. I don't know in terms of Battle Pass updates what we're going to see. I think a lot of them, the developers might be moving on now at this point. Now there's a push for the single player studio. I've just been running around in circles here. Where are all these tanks shooting at? Ah, the tunnel. I've not actually been this way in the tunnel yet. This feels like a breakthrough point. Yes. Yes. Give me five. Nope, I've got four. Oh, I'm down. Woo! Good game, though. That was a hot ending, pushing in there. That was fun, so I hope that's given you guys a little bit of a snapshot of what the game's like. Um, enjoying the map so far? I'll probably have more thoughts as we progress and as we go on. As I say, I'll maybe, I'll maybe we'll make a little video in the next few weeks once I've had some time to build through this um, selection of content. And we can talk a bit about where Battlefield is and, and how far it's come from the beginning. I certainly want to do a reaction to my reaction to the trailer for the original uh, Battlefield trailer and talk about <laughs> um, my uh, sort of misty-eyed way that I looked at it. But yeah, that was a fun little game. Made some Battle Pass progress, which is cool. So I'll probably be able to show you guys some more content in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video.